ബാങ്ക് ഡി ജി സി എസ് ഐ ആർ ആൻഡ് സെക്രട്ടറി ഡി എസ് ഐ ആർ ഡോക്ടർ കലേജ് സെൽവി ഫോർ കമ്മിങ് ഫോർ ദ ഇനോഗറേഷൻ ഓഫ് സി സി എം ബിസ് വൺ വീക്ക് വൺ ലാബ് ഷീ ഈസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വുമൻ ഡി ജി ഓഫ് സി എസ് ആർ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് എയ്റ്റി ഇയേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് എക്സിസ്റ്റൻസ് എ ഡൈനാമിക് ആർട്ടിക്കുലേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് എ ഷാപ്പ് ലീഡർ ഹു ക്യാൻ ഗ്രാസ്പ് വാട്ട് ഷീ ഹിയേഴ്സ് വിത്ത് ലൈറ്റിംഗ് സ്പീഡ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ സമറൈസ് ഇറ്റ് ടു യു See, the CCMB is located between IACT and NGRI. You can see the uh, map where uh, IACT is, the, the whole thing, this corridor is almost 400 acres. And all, all of them are CSR Institute, we are in the middle, and the youngest. So we kind of eked out of IACT way back in 1977. It was, uh, at uh, 1st April 1977, CCMB came into existence as a semi, semi-autonomous laboratory. and in 1987 26 november it the building that uh, ccmb houses was inaugurated the basic idea was to conduct research in the frontier and multidisciplinary areas of modern biology and seek its potential applications of the work in fact one of the things about ccmb is that you know there is a combination of art and science that was emphasized very very aptly by our founder uh, pushpa bhargava and you can see very clearly that there is an artist gathering that used to happen regularly in those days this was one in 1989 and some of the art that you see within ccmb is depicted here we have three campuses the main campus is where uh, right next door it is a 17 acre campus and then we have uh, two other campus called nxc1 lacons which is around 5 acres located around 20 kilometers from here and the third one is innovation hub Uh, about which madhu will talk a little more and there we have few activities including incubation center so uh, we have very strong presence in basic research including structural biology developmental biology cell stem cell biology genomics and all the way up to immunology and then we have activities in incubation innovation hub where there is an incubation center we have skill development and innovation cell societal relevance activities that uh, we have in, i mean lacons is missing here but the lacons has animal uh, conservation uh, 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 both plant and animal conservation activities uh, in lacons uh, we have uh, done uh, many things including diagnostics crop technology and wildlife forensics uh, have almost 950 people i don't want to look at this break up just to show and over a period of all these years we the work by our uh, our uh, scientists have been well recognized you can see that we have padma bhushan padma shri uh, ramachandran gold medal batnagar awards jc bose fellowships infosys awards and many other things as you can very clearly see i can tell you that uh, this is one of the very successful program across csr labs so we got more visibility than before which is very much needed in changing times through this uh, csr labs are connecting very much with uh, all the stakeholders particularly with uh, young minds igniting like about the like science about science and achievements in science so that uh, they can also contribute and also in- innovators startups academy and industry to look for opportunities that's how they get to know more about the institute that's how they get interest in the science and also our institutes yesterday we were listening to dr shivaram is a very visionary leader as part of uh, amrut lecture series it is always a pleasure to know about our uh, csr contributions and also history which will always uh, which will also remind us uh, about our duty and also our responsibilities what uh, what we need to do thank you madam for uh, giving time and uh, visiting hyderabad of course we have, we have been requesting you several times thank you for your time and visiting us and as mentioned by dr vinay so hyderabad is a privileged to have three csr labs iict ccmb and ngri in one stretch in this road and we are neighboring each other and uh, this city has uh, excellent uh, ecosystem with so many academic uh, institutions research laboratories and many pharma industries and also biotech uh, companies please do visit us frequently and interact with our scientists and students and i can tell you all madam is a great uh, speaker is uh, she has art of speaking like I, every time i listen to her i, I became fan of her 
and I'm sure you are all going to witness uh, her speech now. So in chemical sciences, uh, IICT is the best in the country and in biological sciences, CCM is the best in this country. And also in global scenario, <laughs> these, these two labs have, no, uh, at least people can notice these labs, at least even global scenario. So we are next to each other and little disappointing is we could have done little more uh, collaborative work between these two labs. Of course, we did work in few projects uh, such as COVID projects particularly where uh, sewage water uh, surveillance to detect the, the, the prevalence of the disease. For that contribution, we received award. Remember, Madam Golden Peacock Award. We all went to uh, Bangalore to receive that. So I'm sure we can do much more. And uh, me and Vinay, of course, we, we came from outside the institutes and we don't have any, if at all any bad memories, we don't have those memories. And we're trying to get closer, as, as close as possible, and particularly in scientific manner. So we, we are already started interacting with our scientists also. We're putting them together in, already we put pro proposals together. And I'm sure we took it, two best labs sitting next to each other. I'm sure which we, we can contribute much more in the future. And I'm very hopeful that we'll contribute for the society and, and the science. I congratulate Dr. Binay and the entire team of CCMB for celebrating this one of the very remarkable program of CSIR, One Week, One Lab. This has, in time, grown and flourished under the able guidance of our, uh, and also the leadership of our DG Madam. And I would like to invite you all to come there, be a part of it, and see how our CSIR injury is also connected to society, stakeholders, and to, to you. Uh, let me first uh, just uh, briefly touch upon the, uh, what CSIR NGRI is. CSIR NGRI is a unique laboratory in geophysics where all the divisions of geophysics and geology are under the same umbrella. And also, we did some of the indigenous, we developed some of the indigenous instruments ourselves in the last 60 years to measure the geophysical signatures of our Mother Earth. We are engaged in uh, two types of research. One is the basic fundamental research to understand the Earth, its structure and composition from surface to the center of the Earth, and also for uh, R&D aspect of exploration of uh, like earthquake hazard, the hydrocarbon exploration, like uh, oil, gas hydrate, mineral. A, a gas hydrate, as you know, is a, um, uh, is a ice like structure found in the very cold region, permafrost or in the, um, in the bottom of the seabed. So apart from this, we also work on, uh, extensively work on uh, the um, unconventional energy resources. CSR NGRI has the, now the mandate or primarily engaged in the resolving the, some of the fundamental science issues and also translating our knowledge to uh, the uh, sustenance of our economic sustenance of our country. With this, I would again thank uh, Dr. Binay for inviting me and congratulate uh, him and his entire team of CSR, uh, CSR CCMB. Uh, for this uh, memorable day and best wishes and my support will be always there as he said that we all three labs are uh, in a line so um, any support any anything if he needs then we are always ready one of the uh, the center that i'm looking after is uh, promoted by ccmb ccmb is a biology institute so our focus has been on health and biotechnology a lot of good things happen in institutes like ours, like IACT, CCMB, and NGRI, but many times they stay with us. There is also a, a re, uh, we always wanted to increase the impact of these technologies or the ideas that we have and take them out. So one of the things that this particular center, the incubation center does is act as a bridge how to take these things that know how the expertise of the institutes to the society and make a difference. And in this particular activity, I wanted to 
uh, I want you to look at it as an opportunity to, as one of your uh, future careers. And as you know, probably we are the one of the top five countries in the world that pro that generate knowledge. That means we know how to find solutions to our problems. But at the same time, we really don't make that happen as much as that we wanted to do. In the last several years, the ecosystem has changed so much, there are a lot of enablers who are created in the, in the system. Like enablers like ours, a lot of incubation centers, a lot of government programs, and probably all of you must have heard of things like the slogans of the government about Atma Nirbhar Bharat, or vocal for local, make in India. And these things have become much more prominent during the COVID time because we totally dependent on other countries for our own good. So these things have really forced us to think deep to make our country more self-reliant. CCMB is a great combination of arts and science, and especially for science on living things. I'm really happy to hear such kind of a very positivity. From now onwards, they will be working with more and more collaborative projects. Now, COVID has done a lot of good things because it made all of us to understand that what are the hidden potentials, what is the kind of harmony that is required, what is the kind of collaboration which is to be made, and all these lessons were learned from COVID time, for which CSIR labs are also not an uh, exception. I should congratulate CCMB, he says, every day he is inviting 300 school children, meaning is uh, before these five days are coming to a conclusion, at least around 1,500 school children will be visiting CCMB, meaning is science will be able to reach a minimum of 1,500 students from this Hyderabad city alone, and therefore this is what is the main purpose for which CSR was created. Friends, you may be thinking that CSR is an organization wherein the science should be developed and it should be finding its application for Indian industries. But apart from that, what for the science is happening, what for Indian industries are existing? It is nothing but to serve the mankind, to touch the lives of the common people and to serve the society. And therefore, I think in one of the mandates of CSAR, the Honorable Prime Minister, he asked at one point of time, what is it that you are doing it as a unique and a dedicated service to school children who are the next generation leaders? This is how Jigyasa program came into existence. So the moment Jigyasa started, all CSAR laboratories, we just made sure that every laboratory is getting visited by always hundreds and thousands of school children every year. It's only you and I, meaning is researchers and students, we only can do. And all the leaders, those who are decorating the dais, they are at the service of whatever is needed from your end. Please make the best usage of all this mentorship. Let us all stand in one line. Let us handhold each other. Let us take some kind of a pledge that whatever I'm going to do in the next six years is going to change the fate of this country for next six decades. And I should also be a part of the country to become a developed nation. And I should also contribute in terms of science and technology for the country to be celebrated in the global scenario for its science and technology. Let us all unite. Let us showcase our synergy. Let us all work together and fight against this climate change related consequences also. And let the journey starts from today. And this one week, one lab, I wish this program every success. And I wish to congratulate not only Vinay for his leadership, but the entire CCMB family, along with the family of IACT and NGRA, because all the th three are working with respect to each other and they are supporting each other. I wish this event a grand success.
स्टे इन्फॉर्म्ड अबाउट द स्टार्टअप एकोसिस्टम सब्सक्राइब टू माई स्टार्टअप टीवी